uh, intruders coming up from behind. Yeah, using the, the, the flat wall behind him as like a way to bounce sounds for echolocation. <laughs> yeah, <they> <laughs> Smart move. <laughs> Alright, so we've got uh, Pokemon Trainer versus Steve here on FD for our Game 1, which I feel like this this feels like a pretty good map specifically for Trainer in this matchup because, of course, Steve is not going to have any platforms to hide under. So Noku potentially going to be have, having a better time uh, making their way in. Yeah, very intrigued by this pick, yeah. but <laughs> D-Dog just throwing out the anvil. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, caught Noku getting a little bit too greedy with that Vine Whip right there, trying to fight his way out of the corner with some buttons. All right, but Noku getting a good confirm, keeping the percent coming onto D Dog right now. But another Anvil setup. You gotta watch that. Yeah, tricky ledge trapping here by Enderman. All right, Enderman. Enderman. <laughs> yeah, Saul Enderman. Yeah, Enderman. Attorney. All right, Noku just. Running past the TNT, almost getting thrown right back into it. I do like the idea from D Dog, but the TNT timer was just a little bit too long there. But and once again, this Anvil catching Noku, swinging out of disadvantage. He was stuck in shield right there, and Noku says, "You know, game two. All right. Uh, okay. So Devin, what you learn there? Uh, <laughs> I'm up. Did I get hit by the block guy? I don't know. Yeah." Rough first game there, but D Dog definitely one of the more prominent names pushing the Steve meta, right? Mm -hmm. Like, frequently attends larger events and showing their their skill definitely in this first game. Yeah, so I'm curious as to what Noku is going to be changing in this game too, because yeah, they're just going right back to trainer at FD. Interesting. Noku just deciding, you know, once the mental reset. Yeah, absolutely. I guess. Three, two, I right. really said. Nah, you got it, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, I need I need to save my mental energy for game two. Here we go. Choosing to start with Ivysaur here and definitely the smart move as it's universally known that Ivysaur is the better of the three Pokemon in this particular matchup. Maybe overall, Devin. I'm not sure what you think. Uh, no, this is an Ivysaur matchup. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just even the stuff that was said like uh, over like social media, like that was being led by like D. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, IV forward air kind of just like wipes out all the dirt blocks yep. and uh, uh, was it because Razor Leaf ha has a hurt box? Uh, it it hits him, it hits him, and then it also like it, it, it uh, not because I had hurt a uh, hurt box. It has a hit box so that it yep. just like kind of goes through them, so it makes uh, makes the cart hard to use or harder to use. Right. D Dog getting back for stock off there with the TNT ledge trap, the El Clasico. Yeah, and Noku getting a little bit impatient at ledge. You know, you really want to see that that mental energy coming through for Noku, but Noku has diamonds online and one in the bank as well. So that's that's the insurance. You can see if uh, Noku Double. can get rid of this first diamond before it does too much damage. Already 59% in climbing. Noku setting up another one of those tricky anvil setups on the, the dirt block. Ooh, the nice high recovery to get over the Ivy down air. I like that. Yeah, like we were saying before, the forward air just goes right through the dirt blocks. Yep. Noku trying to find his way in. Charizard online right now. This time waiting waiting for the, the TNT block, but gets caught by the, the back air on his way over. D Dog was just waiting for him to jump out of off of ledge to catch him after setting up that TNT. It's like, what do you do in that situation? Yeah, like neutral get up, you might let it rip Ooh, or you jump over it. That was actually so good by Noku changing up the timing because you yeah. saw D Dog went for the exact same setup. Right. And Noku just waited a little bit longer, and that was what let him get back into center stage. Dash attack going through the minecart, but D Dog living for it. Full charge down smash, though. Finally putting Noku on the board. But we got Diamond online, and it's looking a little grim here, but Noku starting to do, you know, push, push their advantage, getting two Vine Whips, the up air. Oh my goodness. Yep, going right through the minecart. Oh. Ivy's up air is so dangerous. 
Yeah, and Noku, things are now looking quite competitive. Already 93% on D-Dog. Noku gonna be putting D-Dog back off stage, looking for an edge guard, but Minecart just going right back into center stage for D-Dog. This is gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah, only only like 40 something, yeah. so. And only only off of like three or four hits. It's pretty wild. Okay. Yeah. Just getting to get up attack right through the TNT. Working out for Noku that time. Ooh, Keeping himself button. alive. Getting caught by the minecart. Using the switch to avoid the forward air. And also waiting out the timer on the wood block to make sure that the fly can get back to ledge. And now Noku on uh, even stocks. Trying to interrupt D-Dog uh, crafting that third diamond. But... D-Dog able to make himself just enough space to do so. And once again, using the D the TNT to force Noku into a jump. Working out, but good DI from Noku to keep alive and keep this game two alive. Ooh. Everything that Steve throws out is just so scary. At any given moment, whether it's the minecart or the backer, can get it done. But we are looking very, very close right here. D-Dog just looking for that one wrong move, and there it is. Rolls right into the anvil, and that is going to be D-Dog taking it over Noku in a fairly convincing 2-0. Yeah, I feel like the Steves are really picking up on sort of that PT counterplay and just trying mm -hmm. to work around, uh, you know, waiting for you to make a mistake. Those ledge traps were beautifully done by D-Dog here, but uh, it wasn't looking too hot at the start of this, this game, but uh, D-Dog getting the TNT set up there again. Yeah, no, Noku was definitely starting to pick up here yeah. at, at in his last stock, but I mean, when you're just one stock against Steve's three, it's it's gonna be a rough time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, D Dog moving over in through the winners bracket, and yeah, pretty crazy stuff we've seen thus far. We've had multiple Steve games come on stream, and yeah, like like I was saying earlier, it's sort of that uh that counterplay that everyone's mm -hmm. been privy to, right? Oh, let me use Ivysaur for, with Razor Leaf and then use his forwarder to break the bricks. Steve's are just picking up on it. Yeah. So it seems. Speaking of, why have we seen so many Steve's on stream tonight? There's a good reason. Why, why would you do this to us? Yeah, yeah. Why Why all the Steve's have to come to this weekly specifically? But hey, there might be plenty more Steve's coming up at Defend the North. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going down at Defend the North? Uh, yeah, Defend the North, PC Edition. Uh, there's a lot of games there that aren't.